Pakistani Phil, you spoken this morning. We'll get to that and what he said coming up very shortly. Let's kind of get into the history of it. Records for Groundhog Day, they go back to 1887. The shadow, 84% of the time. No shadow, 16% of the time. The accuracy rate, well, it's not too great. Only 39%. The shadow versus no shadow. Of course, if he sees a shadow, that means six more weeks of winter. No shadow means spring is right around the corner, but it's always hard here, especially in New England. Let's take a look at the scorecard, though. Since 2017 for Puxatawney Phil, 2017, not a great year. Uh, late winter, he was predicting, and we did see well above average temperatures February and March. He's kind of moderated here uh, as we got closer and closer to 2020, 2022 with some C and B grades mixed in there. And then last year actually had a phenomenal forecast. No shadow early spring. U.S. temps well above average in February and even above average there in March and was quite wet here, especially in southern New England. Today he saw his shadow, so what that means is six more weeks of winter officially with Phil's prediction, but there's another person and his name is We'll call him Providence AJ, and he did not see his shadow this morning. What that means is potential for an early spring. Yes, it's been cold through the month of January. Inland storm track, though, that's favor the next few weeks. A little bit more rain opposed to snow. Yes, we are still overdue for a substantial snowstorm. Not saying that won't happen, but there is a better chance for above average precip and temperatures as we continue to get closer to springtime.